So one of the beautiful things about Atomic is that it takes very, very little Atomic to work. Um, the scoop is very small. It's one half an ounce per gallon, so that's it. This is a two gallon pump up sprayer, so. That's it, guys. That's all it takes. Now, I know what you're saying, um, but other products take four or five or 10. That's because they're not ultra concentrated. Magic Wand sells the most concentrated product possible. Because of the soil condition in this carpet, I'm going to go ahead and add four scoops because with Atomic, you don't want to add any other cleaners. It could disrupt the sensitive chemical nature of Atomic um, because of its unique blend of oxygen and citrus and cattle and capsulizing agents. Um, you don't want to ever add anything but the atomic to itself. So the dirtier the carpet, the more atomic you need. The other thing that you gotta remember Okay guys, so we're gonna break down the basic tools needed for in-cap. And this is like the very most basic stuff that you can get away with. And you can actually start a lucrative carpet cleaning business with this. I'm going to cover that in a marketing video that I'm gonna cover over carpet cleaning versus encapsulation cleaning and what you can do. So basically, all you really need is a container of atomic, a basic floor machine, or you can get an Orbiter or a CRB. They're all great. Um, I like pad capping myself because the pads do have an absorbent soil nature. They do like to get some of the soil off and onto them. And a pump up sprayer. That's it. That's about all you need is a decent pump up sprayer, um, a floor machine, some atomic, pad driver, pads, extension cords. That's it. Oh, you also need a vacuum cleaner, which you're going to want to get a CRI approved vacuum. Um, there's a lot of good ones out there. Magic Wand can definitely help you out with that as well, especially if you're ordering some Atomic. Something important to note, I'm sure I've already gone over it in another section, but I'm going to go over it again. If it's not working for you and you feel that it needs to be stronger, the rule of thumb is you just add another scoop. Um, at the end of, by the time you get experience, you'll know how many scoops you need to add per gallon. I like to add two scoops per gallon on this soil condition. We're going to go ahead and switch the GoPro and show myself actually cleaning some carpet with pad capping. So one of the rules to encapsulation cleaning is to not spray out too large of an area so that it um, becomes an issue. Another rule is no matter what kind of pad you're using, go ahead and give it a mist and that mist will help keep it from scorching the floor. Never run a pad on dry carpet. Never ever ever. That's a good rule of thumb. It will cause the quick demise of the carpet. That's why the CRI uh, frowns upon floor machines so heavily. Um, because improper use of a floor machine makes things bad. Move my camera down a little bit.
As you can tell, this is a very quiet process, very relaxing. Um, pad capping is very effective, very fast as well. You can do a lot of square footage very quickly. The carpet is already drying. It is really cool. Pretty awesome. Very happy. It's really quick too. It's not taking that long to use it. So we're we're impressed again. 